let's take a look at installing zero AD on our computer. So this is a free and open source game and you can install this natively on Linux. So I'm on an Ubuntu 20.04 laptop right now. And if I come over here, you can see that if I go to the download section and then I download for Linux, there's some instructions here. So I could go to Ubuntu and the package managers and there's some instructions here to basically install it, but it's listed for 14, 16, and 18 versions of Ubuntu. Now I'm on a newer version of Ubuntu and I've actually gone through and I've tried this and I had some problems with this. So I've actually gone over here to another website here. So the UbuntuHandbook.org and I'll put a link to this in the description of the video, but this uses a different PPA. So a different repository that we're pulling from and then we're going to install it using that repository and that will work on our newer Ubuntu 20.04 laptop. So let's come up here and look at our terminal. Let's open this up. Let's just expand this and I'll come back over here. Let's make sure we copy this PPA and let's make this a little bigger so you can see it and I'll paste this in. I'm going to add the repository. Just put my password for my computer in there. Press enter. And then I can sudo apt git update my package manager. That will allow my computer to recognize the PPA that I just added. And then let's come over here and let's get the install command. So it's just sudo apt install zero AD. So let's come here and put that in there. And we'll say Y for yes. So once it's installed, you should be able to run the command just by typing 0AD and pressing enter. Let's just start up the game, so you have that over here. You also should be able to come here and you could look for 0AD in your launcher. You should be able to launch it that way as well. And once the game is launched, come over and take a look over here. So it has a thank you message here. We can just click OK here. So I'm actually in luck here because I have some friends already playing this game. So I'm going to see if I can join their game here. So I'm going to cancel all this. We'll do a game lobby. We're going to have to create a new account here. And so I'll just name mine Jimmy Fisk. And I'll add a password here. And I'll put the password in again. And I'll say remember password. I can agree to all these, so I'm going to click on each one of these and I'll accept them. And then I'll register. And then I'll connect. Actually, you can see over here, this is the player that I actually want, so I'm going to mark as buddy. And then the other person I want in my group here is Stephanie Girl, so I'll add this and I'll mark as Buddy here. And I'll click on Super Bosco, because Super Bosco is the creator of the account and is currently online, and I'm going to join game. The game has already started, so I can join this as an observer. So I can't actually actively participate, but I can take a look at what's going on. So I'll just say yes for now. And I spoke with Super Bosco earlier, so I have the password for this, so I'm just going to type that in. Confirm. So I'm getting an error here and then I'm out of sync. I'm going to say OK for now. So now I can kind of see what people are doing here. I can zoom way out. Yes, Steve. Oop, the host ended the game. So now maybe I can join a game where I can actually participate in it. So I have the account of my friend here and I'm going to click join game. I'm going to enter the password again. So now we can see that there are four players in the game. So it looks like I'm a random civilization. 
I can choose different things here, so I can be a certain type. Oh, I see it now. So I'm ready. I click I'm ready. And we're going. So I'm going into this completely blind. I'm actually not sure how to do anything. So let me select a unit here. It looks like I can build things. So I can build a house. Build a house. It looks like in here it's not going to be able to be placed. You can see it's red. It says house cannot be built near another building. But I can place one way back here on the edge. So I can have that person go and start working on that. I can select another unit here. Looks like I can build a different type of building. So this one looks like it wants to be placed near our other facility here. So I can place this right up against this like this. Now there's probably a lot of strategic reasons why you want to place certain structures, certain places. Now I'm just kind of throwing things together to kind of explore this here. But of course with a little bit of time I might be able to figure out what's going on here. So you can also see over here on the map that we are down here in this section here and we have this fog around us. So this is for unexplored territory. I bet if I came up here and I selected mine, of course, I could probably have them move around and explore some of this area so I can see greater parts of the map. I can also gather animals, so it looks like I can click on one of these animals, and I could probably kill it, and that would be food. So that's interesting, so I can grab this right here. And it looks like he speared his deer. There's a way in here too, so I can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. Alright, well, I'm move around with the mouse, and I can scroll my mouse wheel and zoom in the middle. To get the perspective here, let's see here. Okay, so if I hold shift and I do my scroll wheel, I can get the rotation of the perspective here. That's kind of nice, that allows me to select my warriors here. And I'm right clicking to do it. So of course, we, we can kill these chickens and get food now. This is for harvesting grain. Oh, so we need more resources to actually build more of this stuff. So how do we gather resources? That's a good question. So these are food. There's some rock here. Why in it? So we have a rock. Maybe that is some sort of resource. I don't know if this 
this is AI or if this is real quick. It looks like there's a private message like in chat with this person. No, nope, they removed their offer. Mostly because I didn't know how to actually respond to the person. I see two live people that I'm trying to and I see those categories, but I'm not actually sure how I can chat with the person. So I can't answer. Is it actually good what I'm making here? I don't know. They might be able to sneak right into the side here. I mean, that's very possible. interesting so that's a first look at zero ad it's a pretty cool game i think i could definitely see myself getting into this if i learned the controls a little better and did a little better with the resourcing in the military um, but yeah hopefully this helps you get started with this game definitely take a look at it it's uh, pretty fun so far and um yeah stay tuned to this channel for more linux and open source games in the future i think it's a really powerful way to do game development and it's cool because the community can come together and actually contribute to it and make it better over time so we'll be in touch soon See you later.